Is that him? Does he have a split brow? Yeah. Yeah. Probably him. Oh yeah, right there. You see the blood? He's walking stiff too. What's going? Welcome back to Drone Deer Recovery. I'm Mike. I'm on my way right now to try to help a guy find a buck. He hit it last night. They tracked it uh, for a while last night. Couldn't find it. Then they went back in this morning and uh, figured out that coyotes jumped the buck and ho they're hoping I'm able to find it. Hopefully everything will go good and we can make this video. Thanks for being here. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you out there. How's it going? We're up here. Yeah. Are you, uh, do you care if I video the no. story? No. Uh, we're going to use his. I shot him down here, but he's right below his house where we last. I shot him over on that, that little knob right there. We're going to use his. That way you can set up on his blacktop. So. Okay. We'll move up there. Stuff to fly across. So what's the story with this deer? Do you have history with him? Oh, we have two, shed, two years of sheds off of him. Okay. And then this year he's just been hit or miss coming in. The past couple of days he's been daylighting. So. Yeah. And it was a quartering two shot. It said almost head on. Almost head on. Yeah. And then this morning you went back on the track and you crossed coyote tracks and then you just stopped or you tried going as far as you could? Well, we got to his first bed last night, like 100 yards after we shot him. And uh, it looks like he fell and hit the ground. There's blood blowing out everywhere. He stood there, there's a big pile of blood, and he laid down, got up, laid down again within like 10 feet of each other. And this morning, we found four beds past where he laid down again. And then as soon as the last bed, we got a dog track. Mm -hmm. And then he came up here to another dog track, got him on this little power line here. So there's two dogs that were all after him. Shoot. But, so, but then you just quit? Or, okay. And we got up to this edge of the field, and he got dropped blood going down off the hill, and I just said... I see. Okay. So... You could have potentially tracked the blood, but you didn't. Yeah. Okay. Is that him? Look at it. Big buck. Does he have a split brow? Yeah. Yeah. Probably him. He's walking stiff too. Right now he's in some thick stuff. He's coming after these does, I think. What would you say? Dude, coming right over here. He's right here. He's right on this bank. On from the road, from the road down, maybe seventy-five yards. So he's right here on the. Yeah, and he and he's coming. He's going up like this and heading this way. Right, right there is the road. You see it right there? Okay. That there's a doe literally gonna run right down through here, and he's right behind her, right there. He's going lame. Oh, yeah, right there. You see the blood? Oh, yeah, that's where you hit him. So, you just barely hit that shoulder, that's what you did. I think it deflected back down the ribs. Mm -hmm. So I've seen this a lot where it, it goes off of that blade and then kind of tucks into the, doesn't even make it in the cavity.
Well, at least he's still alive. I guarantee you he'll come back. I found one just like this down in uh, Dayton the other day. Same way. He just showed back up on his corn uh, three days ago. Jason, zoom out. That was a good move getting out of there, though. Can't see where he's hit. Yeah, he can. I can't can from this <laughs> angle. <laughs> just look at his blood on his shoulder there. And no exit. So he probably just hit and glanced. coming this way right around. He'll probably stay on that flat unless he turns his back. It'd be crazy just to watch him fall over dead right there. <laughs> Get ready to. Can you zoom out and show me exactly where he's at? He it looks like he's wanting to cross the road. Well, not much of a video there. It kind of sucked because, of course, he was wanting the deer to be dead. Um, wasn't flying very long, found him, you could see where he was hit in the shoulder. I don't know, um, the deer's not going to die from that hit unless he dies from like infection, but as far as like vitals, um, yeah, he's got a long winter to go through if, if they aren't able to get another shot at him. That's it, sorry, not much going on there. Um, I guess we'll see you on the next one.